It's Tuesday the 5th of November. Uh, it's the first day of a three-week sitting block. Um, it's the second to last block uh, of the year. Uh, and Parliament will sit from 2 till 6 and 7.30 until 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, as normal, we'll start off with oral questions. Question number one is Greg O'Connor to the Minister of Finance uh, about the New Zealand economy. Uh, Simon Bridges to the Prime Minister. Uh, does she stand by all her government's actions and policies? Mark Patterson to the Minister for Regional Economic Development about the Provincial Growth Fund. Uh, Paul Goldsmith to the Minister of Finance about his statements and policies. Michael Woodhouse to the Minister of Health uh, about the Ministry's website and whether it's up to date. Uh, Angie Warren-Clark to the Minister of Health about cancer medicines. Uh, Louise Upston to the Minister for Social Development uh, about her policies and actions. Uh, Deborah Russell to the Minister for Trade uh, and Export Growth about uh, progress New Zealand has made on agreements. Uh, Chris Bishop to the Minister of Transport uh, about comments he made at a rail conference. Uh, Jonathan Young to the Minister of Energy and Resources uh, about geothermal resources uh, uh, for electricity generation on the West Coast. Uh, Paul Eagle to the Minister for Building and Construction uh, about changing trends in New Zealand housing. And Nicola Wills to the Associate Minister of Transport uh, about a letter she wrote uh, and whether she, her views are still the same with regard to the Mount Victoria Tunnel. We then go on to legislation, starting with two climate change uh, response bills. The first, the Zero Carbon Bill, that's a second reading, it's in the name of James Shaw, uh, as the second bill is, uh, which is the first reading of the Emissions, emissions Trading Reform Bill. Uh, after that, there's going to be an unusual debate, it's the Terrorism Suppression Control Orders Bill Instruction to Committee debate. Uh, when we finished before the recess, uh, we finished at six o'clock on a Thursday, uh, we'd sent the bill off to the Select Committee, uh, but we hadn't uh, considered the instruction uh, about getting it back early. So um, normally it would happen uh, with a bill, uh, it doesn't have to, uh, and so we're going to have that debate this afternoon, which will set the conditions uh, for the sitting of that committee and the reporting back. Then we'll go on to the continuation of the Organ Donors and Related Matters Bill, uh, then the second reading of the Wheel Clamping uh, Bill, uh, in the name of Chris Farfoy, uh, and then the committee stages of the Criminal Cases Review Commission Bill, uh, which is in the name of Andrew Little. And that should see us out uh, for tonight.